the general overseer of the redeemed christian church of god pastor enoch adeboye has advised the federal government to give nigeria a lasting solution to secession agitations and its economic challenges by restructuring the country according to adeboye the restructuring of the country must be done as soon as possible to forestall a breakup of the various social ethnic components that make up Nigeria. The 78 year old cleric stated this on Saturday at a 60th Independence Day celebration symposium co organized by the Redeemed Christian Church of God and the Nehemiah Leadership Institute. At the symposium with the team, where will Nigeria be in 2060? Monitored by the punch, Adeboye proposed the adoption of a merger of the British style of government and the American system of government to pave the way for Nigerians' future. The former lecturer at the Department of Mathematics of the University of Lagos said, why can't we have a system of government that is 100% Nigerian? Unique to us. For example, we started on with the British system of government. Somewhere along the line, we moved over to the American system of government. Can't we have a combination of both and see whether it could help us solve our problems? Because in mathematics, if you want to solve a problem, you try what we call real analysis. Then if it doesn't work, then you move on to complex analysis and see whether that will help you. If that fails, you move on to vector analysis and so on. I believe that we might want to look at the problems of Nigeria in a slightly different manner. Some people feel that all our problems will be over if Nigeria should break up. I think that I think that is trying to solve the problems of Nigeria as if it is a simple equation. The problems of Nigeria would require quite a bit of simultaneous equation and some of them are not going to be linear either. Forgive me, I am talking as a mathematician. Why can't we have a system of government that will create what I will call the United States of Nigeria? Let me explain. We all know that we must restructure. It is either we restructure or we break. You don't have to be a prophet to know that one. That is certain. Restructure or we break up. Now, we don't want to break up. God forbid. In restructuring, we don't have... In restructuring, I beg your pardon, why don't we have a Nigerian kind of democracy? At the federal level, why don't we have a president and a prime minister, he said. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? Um, the clergyman, highly revered clergyman and uh, a former mathematician or still a mathematician, depending on how you see it, has proffered solution that if we look at it, to a very large extent would help us solve the problems that has bewildered this country. He said, it is either we restructure or we break up. Now he has proposed another solution that could be uh, a template to the solution of this problem that Nigeria is facing, which is, why don't we merge the uh, British system of government and the American system of government where we have a president and we also have a prime minister 
and some other which definitely has to do with restructuring and this is what a lot of people have been calling for this is what people have been calling for over time even under the good luck jonathan administration which gave bet or gave rise to the national confederation committee which over 600 resolutions were said to have been made and the document was handed over to president muhammad buhari but he had abandoned the reports and thrown that report away and has refused to look into it. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. So if we are talking about restructuring the country and we don't want the country to, the country to break up, then it is only a matter of time before the country will eventually break up. Because like the clergyman says, that it is a matter of time, that it is what everybody knows, that it is either we restructure or we break up. So which does President Muhammad Buhari prefers or which does he want? If he is not running an agenda, then he should let us know or he should tell us what he is up to. Because what we feel or believe or think is that he is running an agenda and that is why he has continued to focus or he has continued to neglect the cry and the calls of the people for restructuring. And this eventually will be to the detriment of the country at large. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Do you think the clergyman has said the truth and the real solution to the problems Nigeria is facing? It probably might just be. But like he said in mathematics, he said, can't we have a combination of both and see whether it could help us solve our problems? Because in mathematics, if you want to solve a problem, you try what we call real analysis. Then if it doesn't work, then you move on to complex analysis and see whether that will help you. If that fails, you move on to vector analysis and so on. This is another thing. And he further said that some people feel that all our problems will be over if Nigeria should break up. He, I think that is trying to solve the problems of Nigeria as if it is a simple equation. But it is not a simple equation. The problems of Nigeria will require quite a bit of simultaneous equation and some of them are not going to be linear. So, why can't we have a system of government that will create what I will call the United States of Nigeria? Exactly what we're talking about. This is a strong point that we should look into or we should really, really hold on to. Which he said that we all know that we must restructure. It is either we restructure or we break. You don't have to be a prophet to know that. It is certain. It is either we restructure or we break up, he said. He further said that now we don't want to break up, God forbid. In restructuring, why don't we have a Nigerian kind of democracy at the federal level? Why don't we have a president and a prime minister? Dissolution of powers. This is what we are talking about. If only our leaders, our congressmen at the National Assembly, the, the Senate, would pay attention, reason all this, think critically, come up with ideas to achieve this suggestion of this clergyman, I think we will be a better place. The country will be a better place than it is today. I stand to be corrected, but to a very large extent, I think I'm in support of what the clergyman has said. But be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Well, drop it at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, please. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.